Hello, you wonderful people, and welcome back to Undertale Yellow. Uh, last time we made our way through the East Mines and through this little area here, and now we are in Oasis Valley. And we have Bartlett here, our bestie. Very happy. Um, yeah. So let's see what's what is afoot. Ah, I see. A note base with iron nails holding it together. Oh, sorry, I was turning out for a second. Sure is a cool wagon. Sure is. Sure is. Do, 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 do. Oh. Something about to happen. What's about to happen? What's about to happen, Martlet? We should probably get going. Yeah, 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 yeah. Huh? Hang on, I think I see someone's coming this way. Is that the blue hat? Guys, looky here! Someone new has stumbled into our humble town. This better not be another joke. Oh. For once, don't look like it is. Hiya, strangers! Oh, hello! We're just passing through. We mean no harm, I promise. That's what the last guy said. Let's just say he's one with the wind now. Uh, uh, oh my gosh, you... <laughs> I'm just kidding around. You were shaking in your boots for a second. <laughs> you sure got me. That wasn't very... That wasn't very funny, Edward. I can assure you we are a delight, a del delight to be around. Nothing you can't handle, I'm sure. I... No. <sighs> Why do you two insist on scaring away every monster you meet? At least Mooch never oversteps her boundaries. Never! Um, well, it was a pleasure to meet you four, but we'll be going now. Hold it right there, Missy. Oh. Um, my pal's giving you some trouble. Come now. That ain't a way to treat guests now, is it? The name's Northstar. I run this town. Not alone, of course. These fine monsters are my posse. Together we are... The Feisty Five. Our name stands for... Fearlessness. Excellence. Intuition. Sneakiness! Toughness! Youthfulness! Justice! The, the J is silent. Anyway, now that we're introduced, <clears throat> I'd be glad, glad to give your, you and your buddy a tour. Hold on. Your buddy. Are they a human? Um. Well, I won't say no. I knew it. There ain't no doubt in my mind that this kid is a real, living, authentic human. Sorry about this. I gotta seize this once-in-a-lifetime opportunity. Ed, fetch me that kid. Sure thing. Marlin, why'd you just let that happen? Oh, no. <laughs> Our face just... Wait, what are you doing with Clover? Ah, uh, Clover, isn't it? That's a mighty fine name. To answer your question, Feathers, Clover and I got a town to run. Don't Feathers me! You're speaking to Marlet of the Royal Guard. I can and will report you to King Asgore for this abrasive behavior. Your Royal Guard? That's funny, because I don't see anything to indicate that. No armor, weapon, badge. I left it all at my post in Snowden. Please don't bother trying to fool us. He's right. I'm truly sorry about this. I really am. But business is business. Together, we'll be the feisty six. The alliteration. Shh. <laughs> Clover, I can't go up against these guys. Don't worry. I'll figure this out. So they want me to be part of it. That's interesting. They just don't want to kill me. Apparently. Wait, I'll figure this out. Star, should we be doing this? Poor Martlet is upset. 
Don't be a buzzkill, Moray. When's the last time something exciting happened around here? You've got a point. Ahem. This town's full of excitement, especially now. Let's go, bud. Oh, and feathers. Welcome to the Wild East. Whew. To the face. But I keep growlers of ice water for the house on the sheriff. I have an announcement to make. Oh. oh. I'm just there. This little fella here is Clover. Hey, Star. What the hell are you doing bringing a human in here? It's robot shush! Now I know what you're all thinking. But trust me, Clover here ain't no greenhorn. They know what they're doing. Just look at that hat. Actually, this could be fun. Dinah, hit me. Alright, no more heckling from a crab. <laughs> Ladies and gentle monsters, as Saroba said, Clover is a human. Whoa! I know, exciting stuff, a real honor. Now, I would let Clover tell you all about their life, but I've been studying up. Okay, it is that, cool. I'm a bit of a human expert, if you didn't know. Oh great, here we go. Here we go indeed. Did you know that humans use monsters for transportation? Woo. It's true. Large, four-legged monsters. They put a seat on top of them and everything. They're called horses, Star. Ah, uh, so you know one of them personally. That's quite impressive. Did you also know that humans are fireproof and they're feeling accomplished? They ride monsters straight into a huge fiery sphere. So the monsters burn, right? Most monsters aren't fireproof. Star, are you saying my friend Horses was killed by a fiery sphere? No, no, um, well, I'm not quite sure. I'll ask Clover. Do the monsters die? No? See? Everyone's fireproof. Anyways, do you know that? Look, Star, you don't need to keep this up. Because it's all true. Every word. Ha! I knew it. I'm pretty darn good, aren't I? You're the best. Yeah, the only share for me. Haha. <laughs> well, I reckon we're done here. Y'all can go back to your daily lives for now. Hmm, interesting. As for you, Clover, it's about time you see what this town has to offer. I'll give you a personal tour, but there's one thing you have where you come from. It's freedom. Take your time exploring. Talk to the townsfolk and enjoy yourself. I'll be waiting here for you. Give me a shout when you're ready to start training. This is excited. Is this Bill Cipher? What? North Star is the coolest. One time a construction team was demolishing a building, a new home. But, uh oh, an infant was in the way of the building as it came crashing down. Suddenly, North Star appeared and wailed his lasso up. He wrinkled that skyscraper without bringing a sweat. Yee-haw, yee-haw. For saving its life, the building gave North Star one million. <laughs> true story, true story. Fucking little bot. Hello. Oh, that's cool. Howdy, howdy, human. Take a gander at my wares. Hard hitting stuff is off limits. What? Adult soda? No, I want to be an adult. Feisty slider. I want the root beer. And who are you? I saw anything. This is a bar, not a marketplace. Try blackjack down the road if you want to barter. It's town. Oh, this little place. It's pretty fun around here. Heard it was established some years back when the dunes gained its name, if you get me. I should be polished on its history, but Star don't talk about those days. I was looking for a friendly environment to share my brewing skills, so here I am. 
There ain't terribly much to do in this town, but that only makes it more close knit. Every day has been pretty predictable till you showed up. I'm here to see what Star is planning. I get this question a lot. These fillers are my pets. Real reptiles, not monsters. Their names are Anne, Sammy, and Bert. Now the ground still houses some critters from the surface like birds and insects. Found these west of here, hiding in a crevice of sorts. Some monsters think keeping pets is strange, but I think it's cute. Give me someone to talk to when business is slow. Can I leave? Can any time. Won't hurt my feelings. Oh, I see. Star's trying to keep you here since it's a big deal and all. I ain't right if you're wanting to go. Try not to infringe on share business, but I'll ask him about it soon. I'm sure he means well by it. What a character. Our big and courageous sheriff. I get a feeling he ain't as tough as he likes to play up. Then again, maybe he's just clumsy. His old posse is a hoot. They frequently host parties here. He definitely knows the right kind of monsters to run himself with. Not to mention Saroba, his childhood friend. I get a kick out of her and Star's antics. She brings her daughter into town. It's basically two against one, ha. Huh? I think about it. It's been a while since I saw the rascal. We really need to get the whole gang together again. Interesting. Well, I'd be curious to see... Well, who's this ghost rider ass guy? No introduction, right? Hope you didn't have any stage fright. Stages could be scary. Oh, wouldn't. Occasionally making faces at you. So true. I, I, I don't know what that bird guy is doing. He kind of looks like he's from Smiling Friends, so we'll leave him be. Who's this? The saloon isn't always as crowded. It's happy hour, you see? Half price drinks. You don't know that, so they'll continue to sell you full price drinks. <laughs> Dang it, y'all. Is there anything up this way? Wait, where, where'd he go? Uh oh. Oh, the, the whale guy's here! You're Clover, am I right? Your name has come up once or twice. Hmm, you look confused. Right, I'm not rhyming. Yeah, that's just a company policy. It gets a little tiresome sometimes. Other than that, I have no complaints. It's a great job. Wouldn't trade it for the world. I'm a little worried, though. These days, those fancy cell phones are all the rage. I don't know how long the mail service will. Oh me, oh my. My breaks come to an end. See you next time. There's letters to send. Oh, okay. Bye. <laughs> okay. Oh. <clears throat> you there, human. You okay? Yeah. Really? Well, alright then. I apologize for Star's antics. He's really into human culture and whatnot. You show up here and he flips out. I mean, it is quite unbelievable. Few humans have wandered into the underground before, but you never set foot on these sands. All I'd say, I'm glad you did. My name is Saroba. I'm a friend of Stars, but not part of his posse. They're a bit too <laughs> rowdy for my taste. May I ask your name? Clover. Welcome to the underground, Clover. Your tire is surprising, I must say. But, um, I won't press you on the matter. I'm afraid Star is going to drag you into his activities for a while. You must have places to go, correct? Castle? Barrier? You probably want to go home. If I'm being honest, I haven't seen Star this ecstatic in some time. Maybe you should entertain him a bit. Roll with his punches. I'll see what I can do about allowing you to leave. I know of a safe path to Hotland through the... Ah, I'm getting ahead of myself. Talk to you later, Clover. It was nice to meet you. Aww. They're so nice. Oh, we get the whole gang! Oh, wait, maybe. Yeah, we do. Okay, cool. I'm curious about the Undyne-looking one. Seems like my greeting has failed its home. Like the hat? It's a disguise. This area is pretty populated, so I picked this up to be safe. Being separated- Oh, I didn't even notice that. Separated from Martlet is pretty ha lucky, but... I hope this star guy doesn't hold you here for long. We may have to intervene if he does. Did Cloud not- Does Cloud not like Martlet? Okay, so that's blocking that. I just wanna, before I start talking to people, I wanna get a lay of the landscape. I like this guy, because he reminds me of my OC, uh, Cyanide. Which, if you haven't, you should check out the book I'm writing, if it's not finished by the time I upload this, called Shuffled Deck. On Wattpad. Heads and Tails is the name of the first. Hey, kid. Sorry for being so forceful earlier. I'm just doing what Star thinks is best. 
this whole thing snuck up on us, that's for sure. I'm optimistic about it. Oh, what do we have in here? Press it on the mattress. So soft. Oops. Couch not unfit for a thrift store. This cramped living conditions are bringing back unpleasant memory. Hmm. Interesting. Turn the TV on. Oh. This is your favorite channel. Oh my gosh. You push the hammock. It's way is hypnotizing. Interesting. Whose house is it? Wait, who has the little tiny one? Firm sleeping bag sits in the corner, threatening to restrict free sleepers. So, this might be the fives, because that, because, you know, five. I didn't even think. Wait, who has this little tiny bag? Weird. You haven't seen any cats around. I mean, that could be the little guy. There's a hole in the floor. How comfy. Oh, that must be, um, big dudes. And someone probably takes the couch, so who knows? Do all the heavy rifted. Isn't that cool? Oh, Edward. That's his name. Edward. Town's quite the spectacle, is it not? Aha! I would bury myself in its sand if I could. Yep, yep. Hiya! So job sitting on that stool. I have a feeling you'll be the talk of the town. We're gonna have so much fun training together. <laughs> anyway, see you later. Hospital? What do we have here? Welcome to the Wild East Clinic. We put the hospital in hospitality. They call me the doc. Are you sick? Hurt. What is your diagnosis? Hurt. Yes, of course. We have a tough one. I have just the boost you need. For an upfront price of 30 gold, I can overcharge your health. It is an experimental medicine, but who said I was qualified? What do you say? No thanks. Sorry to hear that. I'll always be here if you need anything. Well, I'm here for the free lollipops. After I check myself in, the doc said where I wanted to pop you up today. From, uh, at least I have this fluffy bed to cheer me up. Aww. All the snoring. Oh, not the whip crack. Johnny test coded. What's up? Um, about Martlet. I totally get why you'd be upset, but I can explain, I think. See, if she is a real guard, that would cause problems. She threatened to report Star to King Asgore. One thing leads to another, and the Wild East is in flames. Well, maybe. I'm sure Asgore would understand, but there are others. That of the real guard, particularly. I believe you didn't have a run-in with her. I mean, I've never met her. I just heard we look alike. Oh. Oh, that, that's, that's all it is, okay. <gasps> Marlet! Is that gummy goo? Oh, no, no, it's not. Clo Clover? I knew I could count on you. So, me getting out of here. Any luck? Soon. Let's hope. Thanks for being positive. Anyway, that Sheriff Northstar, was it? What a jerk. I tried to fight for you. I really did. His hooligans were too strong and tossed me in here. Knowing that, I don't think force will do much good. There's got to be a level-headed monster around here. All that knows this is unjust and will free me. When time comes, I'll... I'll... Who am I kidding? I couldn't press charges or anything. They talk big, but we're cornered. Ask where another guard finding out about you would be the end. <sighs> well, Northstar seems pretty enthusiastic about all of this. Maybe by playing along, you can gain his favor and set me free. I don't know. Just play it cool for now. I'll be here. Oh, what a day. You gotta get me out of here, kid. I have a family, hopes, dreams, TV programs I missed. I ain't do nothing bad, I swear. Okay. Okay, buddy. Hey. I don't know if you're aware of this, but there's a fun card game set up in the stable. My friend runs it while I oversee the profits. You should try it out. Oh, thank you. Oh, what the? No, 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 I say. I am a horse each and every day. I crunch upon carrots and much upon hay. But a shy horse I am, so please go away. Yay! Greetings. May I interest you in a game of six shooter? It is a simple card game of the matching variety. It costs three gold to play with the potential profit. Intrigued? Sure. Free you lack sufficient funds. Oh, shoot. No, I missed the cool game because I wanted rip beer. Dang it. Okay. Um, news. What's on the news board? 
wanted. Oh, well, that guy was captured. If I see a new recruit, that's us, we're famous! Oh, of course, Metaton. Wait, Metaton's coming to the saloon? That's so cool. Not wanted, no reward. They're in music notes, that's interesting. Howdy. You got any of that? Any of that good catnip? I've been dying to try some. Is what I would say if I were a dirty bandit. Nia ha ha, you're almost tricked. I could have caught you and turned you into the feisty five. Nia ha ha, be more careful, partner. Oh, okay. Two boxes of rubber pellets on the desk. Best leave them for someone who needs them. So true. Is this, oh, this is weapons. Guns, second amendment. What's there? That might be the... Riley. Giant lock prevents your exit. Hmm. Kind of overkill. True. Got junk salt right here at Blackjack's. Today's special fancy holster. Great for defense. Okay, let's see what I can get from my bag. Sadly, I might have to sell the fancy jacket. Probably the feather, too. We're doing strike a gander. Just don't touch anything. Ooh, let's see. I'll sell the feather. Make good use of this. I'll get you out that game, too. Thank you. I will make good use of this. I like this theme. Do you? Oh no! Do I get? Do I get to have a? I wonder if you kill people, if that makes your age go up. I mean, that's a really wild theory, because that's not how that works. But I wonder if they like perceive you as being older. Oh, it might be edible. Finally crafted. Interesting. Okay. I think I'm doing good. I'm, I'm going mostly pacifist this time. We'll see what how it changes with genocide. Oh shoot, I didn't actually talk to you. Sorry, sir. I was hoping you wouldn't ask about them. Ugh. Young hooligans are all they are. Hooligans I'm forced to put up with to keep my business afloat. Oh, that's, wow, okay, buddy. They have no respect for the firearms I produce. Always waving them around like they're some child's toy. However, right, I've learned how to benefit off their behavior. I'm the only monster around that provides such quality weapons, so whenever they push me, I push back and threaten to close shop. They always crumble and end up paying, par paying far more than the weapon they want is worth. A little money is worth a few headaches, huh? <laughs> oh yes, my gallery babies. Oh, that sounds strange. Ew. These beauties are all crafted from the highest quality materials. I forge them myself in my personal gunsmithing room. Not only do I make them care, but I also care for them. I start my mornings by polishing the whole stock until I see my reflection in them. I also know how to handle these bad boys. I'm a way better shot than North Star, that's for sure. Oh! Did you just die? Nope, okay. Uh, I saw a bandit in my rafters. <laughs> okay, buddy. The Wild East gets many visitors each day. There's something about the ore here that gives monsters kink that some monsters can't get enough of. Now don't worry, I'm not selling ultra deadly weapons to any pass boy pass by with an FG. I make sure my wares are tame enough to not to not be lethal. I myself am not one for violence. Well, used enough times consecutively they could be lethal, but then again, ballet issue could also be lethal used enough times. I understand that reference. Look, don't question my morality too much. I'm not prepared to speak about it. Heard about this town some years back. I had mastered my smithing, smithing capabilities and was looking to open up shop. As turns out, there was an empty building here, so I thought, why not? Seemed like quite the perfect town for such a shop. You regret setting down here, resulting in endless torment from five demonic youngsters every day. But everyone else I've met is quite pleasant, so it balances out. Oz, you're, you're cool. I do like the feisty five, they're fun. But yeah, I can understand if they would be a bit annoying. What's through here? What do we have? An old necklace, discarded in the sand. Looks expensive. Take it. Got the necklace. This is probably gonna be someone's, isn't it? Looking bedazzling necklace. Can't be worn, but could be worth something. Eh, let's keep it on us for now. 
and then see if we can because I mean I'd be willing to sell it but let's see if it like logs to someone first um, let's keep all our good healing items on us as well all right let us go back in town okay I just didn't expect all of this on the bright side you may be able to obtain some gear upgrades here. This roadblock isn't totally pointless, haha. <laughs> yeah, I think I'm doing pretty good though. Oh, there's North Star. Yeah, let me drink more water because I know I'm gonna be in it if I have to voice him. Oh, who would think of such a horror <laughs> God, even after almost dying, I like still can't help but make a joke about it. There we go. <clears throat> Are you ready to begin? Did you talk to the townsfolk, explore every nook and cranny? You're gonna need to if you wanna be a good deputy. That's alright, kid. I'm heavily considering you for my coveted sidekick position. Now, don't get too high and mighty just yet. Be a deputy, you gotta know how to wrangle the horses. Me and my posse are gonna show you how it's done around here. I wouldn't drag anyone off the road and give them special treatment. You have to prove your gunslinging skills to me. That being said, let's go meet up with the others. Let's do this. I feel ready. I feel so ready right now. Let's do this. <clears throat> oh, I forgot to do the dice game. Dang it. All right, everyone, come here. Dang it. They totally were like, oh, have you done this, all this, because you're probably not coming back here. Dang nabbit. Ugh, whatever. What you want, boss? Ooh, are we going to begin training with Clover? <clears throat> Precisely, Moray. I thought we'd start with the classic game that involves pacing. You mean what I see you doing every night outside the house? Back and forth, whispering to yourself. <laughs> what? I don't do that. Some monsters have unique ways of getting their thoughts out. Other monsters. Ahem. Can anyone correctly guess what game I'm hinted at? Oh, oh, I know. Yes, Mooch? A duel. Bingo. Mission 1, Dangerous Duel. No, no, this is all wrong. Oh, what's the matter? Clover doesn't look right. Look at their hat. It's tattered and practically decomposing. And that iron in their holster, what kind of pea shooter is that? <clears throat> Call it Ace. I'm sure they tried their best. No, Ace, it has a point. What kind of host am I if I don't spoil you with gifts? To the weapon store. Dressed to impress? <laughs> <clears throat> oh god. I already know he doesn't like him, so let's see how this goes. I didn't even notice the little, the, the knob opening thingies are guns, so that's so cool. <laughs> of course. Old Blackjack doesn't like doing business with me. I have him borrow his wares and I'll break or lose them. Open up, Blackjack! Don't make me use force. I make the law so I can legally shoot down your doors. Get off my property, North Star. I told you I wouldn't even sell you a gumball. Ah, oh, come on, partner. I don't even know what a gumball is. And those last transactions were ages ago. I'm a changed monster. You lost one of my premium revolvers last week, frolicking in your sandstorm and whatnot. Look, I promise this is a different scenario, Jack. I won't, I won't even step inside. You can meet me out here. <clears throat> Don't worry, Clover. He's coming. <laughs> Make it speedy. Of course, sir. I was just going to ask you to sell a gun to this child. I worded that poorly. Hold on. This ain't a child, you see. I was joking. They're just a very small but very tough monster. 
I'll give you 400 gold. <clears throat> well, why didn't you open with that, con patron? Come inside with me and I'll fetch the paperwork. Yeah. See, I had it under control. Wait out here, Clover. <clears throat> uh, what? Done and done. Can I get a yeehaw? Right, moving along. Let's see what we got. Take this trusty six shooter as a gift from me. Got a wild revolver. Carefully aim at the dummy and take your shot. Don't worry, it ain't alive or nothing. Huh. <laughs> it does nothing. Okay, talk to the dummy. Tough to speak to the dummy. No stars confused. Uh, actually, that's good. Intimidation of your opponent can decrease their focus. Good thinking, Clover. It's like lead and burlap. Okay. I don't, I don't want to make North Star upset, so let's do this. Oh, shoot. I, I, it's alright, partner. Try again. <clears throat> Mighty fine job. Give it another go. Oh, shoot. There you go. One more. Oh. Not shooting. I'd say you're a natural. I'm impressed, kid. I gotta get better at that. You have to look past this part of training. I gotta go tell Soroba about this. She's a big doubter when it comes to you. Let's ride on. Oh, I love the transition. Soroba! Guess what just happened? You locked up another royal god against their will? Hey! Feathers was a serious roadblock to all this. It's only a temporary solution. I don't feel right about doing it, swear. I'm just giving you a hard time. What did you want to tell me? Oh, well, Clover just passed their first round of training. They are quite the sharpshooter, almost as good as me. Really, a child? Now, now, don't disrespect the kid. Clover can hold their own and then some. I know, I'm just very impressed. Oh, hey, I almost forgot about the hat. I have a spare somewhere in my house. Clover, wait here while I fetch it. Maybe while they wait, you should get to know them, Soroba. Should be fun, right? Sure. Sounds good. Be right back, partner. Tell me, truly. Are you into all this? Uh, I don't know. I don't know. I don't... What's going through Clover's head? Okay. They might be vibe. I'm really vibing with this. I like it. I think the more interesting answer will be if I pick no. So let's see. Sorry that star is dragging you around so much, Dan. This whole thing is like a dream to him. It's kind of goofy, but it's nice to see someone so passionate. Yeah, it's like she she will dock us because we were trying to roll along with it. But now it's just like, okay, this is going a bit. This is going on for a while, so. Ever. Passion can go too far. You won't believe how much his parents talk to me about it. Really kind folks who own a farm up north. It's actually very lush there, if you can believe it. And the corn they grow? So good. I used to give my husband, Chu Jin, baskets full every other week. Anyway, I trailed off. Where was I? I'm back! Turns out I had one just your size and in the same color. It's like Destiny or something. Here. You got a nice hat. <laughs> what? Wow. I couldn't even tell it changed if I were standing from afar. Looks great. What do you think, Soroba? It's nice. Isn't it? Well, I'd say this mission was a great success. Go on and take a break, Clover. I'll be waiting for you. We can play the game. Okay, good, the, good. The game figured out. Hey, what are you doing out? What are you doing out? Hey, go away before I'm. I mean, I was released by Star. Yeah, no problems here. 
I don't think that was the voice I gave him, that's okay. Howdy! Okay. Let's see how... Oh wait, no, this isn't Mark. The jail. Greeting? Greetings! May I interest you in a game of six shooter? It's a simple card game of the matching variety. Cost three? Okay, cool. I'll explain its rules, so listen carefully. A stack of 36 cards will be split into 20. Huh? Laid on the table separately. There are six card types, each with different a different familiar face. You smash cards of the same face, but only if they are touching. Huh? Once they're matched, they will be removed from the grid. Two more cards from the reserved 16 card deck will replace them. Oh. Your goal is to empty the table by matching every card. If you win in under 45 seconds, you will be awarded 25 gold. Under a minute, and you will be rewarded 15 gold. Anytime after that, will allow you to break even with... Okay, three gold. Deck is empty and there are no possible matches left. You will lose with no reward. Okay, yes. Let's play. Okay. I got this. Okay. I'm just gonna start matching, I don't care. I'm doing it, I'm, what? Oh, it has to be close, okay, I see. Oh boy, I'm gonna get bad at this, aren't I? Okay, so I need this up here to get a match, so let's see what I can do about that. Shoot. Ah. Uh, okay, so it does have to be everything that's like right next to it, okay. Let's see, what can I do here? Okay, get that together. Perfect, okay. Okay, now I have to make sure that these two are close. Shoot, which might be a problem. Oh, no! Okay, no, I wanna win this, I wanna play. Let me play, let me play. I got, okay, I figured out the strategy now. <clears throat> I gotta make sure all the cards are close. Okay. Can't just go immediately from the get-go. Let's like try and figure out the strat for this. Doo -doo. Okay, I see. I see. I see you, game. Oh, this could be a problem. Okay. <clears throat> oh, this is going to be tricky. Okay. Um... Okay, that, ooh. Connect these two. Shoot. This could, no, actually this should be fine. Cause then, no, it moved that one. Oh no, okay, oh wait, no, this is fine. No, whatever, whatever. You know what, we got better and that's all that counts. Let's check on Martlet. Oh, hey. Oh, hey. I'm in here to give Martlet some food, that's all. It isn't mealtime, but I thought you would enjoy something. So, you don't need to worry about her. I'll make sure she's treated as well as one in jail can be. This is for the best. It's so boring in here. Could they at least give me something to do? I have to all I have is brainstorming puzzle ideas in my head. I recently had an idea for a third molten rock puzzle, so that's fun. Okay, it isn't fun. What is interesting is the noise I heard a little while ago. 
I heard a loud snap, which awoke me from a nap. Before I realized what happened, the other prisoner was gone. I tried to talk to him when I first arrived, but got no answers. So now not only am I in jail, I have no cellmate to talk to. All in all, this day is going fantastic for me. Oh, I'm sorry, Martlet. <clears throat> okay. Let's see. Um, who else do I want to talk to? No one in here. Okay, so this is Ace. Okay, let me think through the names. Ace, uh, Mooch in this area. This is probably... I would guess it'd be North Star, but press on the mattress and watch your hand get swallowed by a memory foam so soft. Firm sleeping bag sits in the corner, threatening to restrict free sleepers. I feel like that would be, um, oh, what's her name? M M Moray. Moray. Ace. I think a thank you is in order. You just received some high tier gifts for free, no less. I do have an eye for that sort of thing. He's like Saiyans, but not Saiyans. So. Oh, I see how this works. Okay. Armor and weapon are different. That's cool. Hmm. Nice. Let's go back into saloon. Alright, how are you doing? Oh, Soroba's not here. Howdy, howdy, Clover. Ready for round two? Swell. Seeing as the original plans were altered, we got catching up to do. Let's gather the others. Group up, everyone. Getting a bit of deja vu here. As you should, buddy. <clears throat> Thanks to Ace's keen eye for fashion, we took a little detour. Great job there. Thank you, Star. Clover looks much better now. I agree. Clover's looking like a real wrangler. For sure. That new gun is awfully shiny. I had to shake Mr. Blackjack down for it. I was real tough, too. Put old Jack in his place, I did. You just sent me in to get it. You know I'm the best negotiator. We might bend the rules a bit, but we ain't bandits. Mmm, totally. Let's get to the mission already. Right you are, right? Right you are, Ed. What other mission would it be than the one we skipped before? Get ready, Clover. <clears throat> Dangerous duel. It's time for us to duel. Duel. You mean duel. That's what I said. N no, you pronounce... You pronounced it with a ooh sound instead of a, of a ooh sound. Boss, have you been skipping cowboy grammar class? Duel, duel, who cares? Potato, t t tomato, potato, and all that. Y'all need to quit interrupting me so often. Upsets my frontiers, Zan. Where was I? Oh yeah, it's time to do. Participate in a carefully timed shooting competition. Mooch, provide Clover with the designated tool. Here's a BB gun for the duel. I'll uh, take that six shooter off your hands for now. Mooch, bring the gun here. That's what I was gonna do, Murray. Get off my back, will ya? All right, it's finally time to go head to head. Wait, what is it, Ace? What could possibly be so pressing to interrupt the mission again? You forgot the safety glasses. Gee, boss, you could have hurt Clover. Right. I take responsibility and apologize for the oversight. Bring the glasses here. I want the pair of the blue flames. Red flames clash with my uniform. Here. Aw. Now we're in business. Alrighty, Clover. Aw, he has them too. It's so cute. We're gonna take ten paces and turn to face each other. When you hear the draw sound. Grab your gun and shoot me as fast as you can. Here we go. Aw. Oh. Aw, oh, too bad. Let's try one more time. Boom. <laughs> so dramatic. Star! Star, are you okay? Pretty much. 
The opposite of that. Oh, Star, I'm so sorry. Who, who will you give your inheritance to? Not you. Heck. Clover, this was your emotional trauma test. This job ain't all sweater, swelter stones and rainbows, you understand? You might end up hurting someone and must carry that weight on your back. Hope I didn't scar you. Anyway, you pass. I'll be waiting in the saloon again when we're ready when you're ready for mission three. I'll I'm seeing good things in you, kid. Here's your iron. Also, I'll be needing those glasses. Okay. Thank you. Yeah, well, anyways, that's where we're, we're going to be ending this episode off at. So many things. What the, the people that saw so cool. I don't know why I'm talking like Bernie Sanders, but that's how it be. Anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. I'm absolutely loving every second of this. I can't wait to, like, just get into this more. So, I'll see you guys later. Bye.